Hello, hello. Good morning, everybody. Happy opening day. Raise your hand if this is your first opening day. Welcome. Let's go, Cubbies. Happy opening day, baby. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to opening day baseball at the Federal Landmark Wrigley Field. Are you ready? Are you excited? It is so cool. So good to it is. take it all, all in. Basically just try to annoy Drew Smiley the whole day. Let's meet your 2023 Chicago Cubs. Number 19, Hayden Wesneski. Going. No way. Yeah, the bullpen went well. Working on spinning the ball and uh, the fastballs, the fastball lines. You know, you sleeping good? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I've been, I've been sleeping good. I mean, except for them, those day games, they, they, do, they do hurt a little bit sometimes, especially when you got three in a row. But, uh, but I, I'll tell you this, I enjoy your call. I wait yeah. for it. Yeah, well, good. I talk baseball a lot with my dad. Probably more than most dads do, but that's just something we have in common. I'm kind of paying him back now. It's really good for him and my mom. They've wore it for a while, and so for them to finally get to see this, they put in the work just as much as I did, you know? Hi. It's been very interesting seeing him from mind leaves with the Yankees and then getting traded. Getting traded was like, oh, it was it was hard on me. It was weird. It's yeah. But then like the debut too, like it was it was really cool. Coming up. The newest Cub, the right-hander, Hayden Wisniewski. This is by far the most important moment of his baseball life. Yeah, you, you could make a case for just life in general. Yeah. <laughs> right? I would say making the big leagues it made everything in my life change a little bit more. Wisniewski, high leg kick and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Welcome to the major leagues. Last year, there was a lot of new faces. It's like, okay, you're just another guy that came up. But the way I pitched last year at the end of the year, it's like, oh, he has a chance to stay. Got Ball game. Cubs win. What a debut for Hayden Wisniewski. I just feel like I'm starting to belong a little bit more, and I feel like I'm a part of the long-term plan. Oh man, this is going to be a battle. Oh, f didn't hit it. Just in case you're wondering. You talk about Hayden Wisniewski, as young as he is, yeah. he's exhibiting that confidence well beyond his years. I'll just tell you right now, he'll be the best fifth starter in all of baseball when this year is said and done. The mindset for spring training was to make the team. Hi, Miss Lisa. How are you? Good, not so bad. How was your day? And now it's, it's a totally different mindset. We're here to win. A lot's on the line and things matter a little bit more. And if we don't win, we're gonna be a little upset about it, right? We got, we got all these guys that, that can play. So for somebody like me, what does that mean? Like, they're not gonna keep me up just to give me reps. It's basically that I have to come in and 
try to produce and try to win. Tommy. Just wanted to do a quick refresher of the game, okay. going through some of the bats, some thought process. I think the biggest thing that I appreciate about Tommy is he cares. Even if I suck today, Tommy's gonna tell me that I sucked and he's gonna figure, we're gonna figure out together what we gotta do and how much we gotta do to, to get better. Those were the three at bats. The three to me that I felt like we could learn something from in terms of how we got to two strikes and then how we put guys away. I felt like the whole game I was ahead and then like they would work me back all the way because I don't feel like I had my out pitch. In a short time, he understands how I tick. And that's something that's not very easy to figure out about a person. I just want to keep honing in on that, making sure that we are consistent arm slot, consistent head position, and driving that ball. I feel like we're part of this together, part of this journey of, of trying to win. Love it. Okay, perfect. Go. So Hayden Wisniewski will begin the 2023 season in the Cubs starting rotation, a spot for him. It opened up after it was announced that Kyle Hendrick will miss time as he recovers from a shoulder tear, an injury that kept him sidelined for the final three months of the 2022 season. Let's hope that during this time away, he can return to full strength and be as effective as he ever was. I didn't touch a baseball for five months which had never happened in my life. That's been the goal, just getting back to who I am, being who I am as a pitcher again. It was something physical that you felt first. MRIs showed a capsular tear. It really prevented me from getting extended through the baseball. Things just didn't have good life to it. I think we reached a point where something needed to change. And what was that going to be? Slow and steady. Okay. Slow and steady. Control. <sighs> One of the things that pitching departments looked at was his power mechanics during his good years in the past compared to this past year when he had the shoulder injury. As I got my hand out of my glove, it was getting longer and longer back here. So turning over from there to there is. That's where we saw a big change. Everyone knows he has shoulder issues. The stronger we can make everything else, the less that shoulder has to work and the better positions we're putting him in. That's power. Power and below. <laughs> you look See, good. I'm trying. Not yeah. as good as you. No, you look, you look great. You're starting to look like a swimmer. Yeah, okay. Wide shoulders. Well, they've had me in the pool. He's very know, narrow. It's part of the, the rehab. Right <laughs> I've relied on a lot of people, a lot of information from them of what I'm going to need to do for the rest of my career and to prolong it as long as I can. Whoa, 18. <laughs> if this would have happened, you know, early in my career at a certain point, I may not have been ready in the type of way that I am now to know what I need to change and be willing to change. As a young player, sometimes you are a little stubborn and you, you know what made you successful to get you there and you hold on to that for a little while. I'm just excited to be at this point in my career where I am confident and know who I am, but I'm also willing to see the other side and know what needs to be done to take advantage of this opportunity that I have. I think I'm gonna start spinning it soon, yeah. playing catch yeah. with them and getting that. And that's my focus is be as good as I can be as late in the year as possible. Super disappointing to not be there, obviously, to start the journey with, with your guys and your teammates. But at the end of the day, hopefully we're making a push into October this year. I have a really good feel with uh, the group that we got. I don't know what's going to come of this year. Like, nobody knows, but it's a really fun group to be around. And I think fans are going to love kind of watching this team play throughout the season. We're in the tent. Tied at two. Nico has never had a walk-off hit. I came in the locker room and Jan just put it on my head and I think we've got a some sort of celebratory hat, I guess, I've been assigned to. So. <laughs>
really feel belief within the group that anybody can come through in the moments and they root for each other. And the pitch. A swing and a drive. Left center field. It's got a chance. Grand slam. Grand slam. Nelson Velasquez. Can you believe it? Strike three. It's a different energy that locker room definitely feels. We're here to win.